welcome back to another sunny Prairie Sun Sarah's Farm vlog. I'm Aaron and thank you for tuning in my friends. Well, it is sunny out here. It is beautiful. It's a beautiful fall day. I can't believe it's uh, it's almost October 1st, literally a day from. So that is awesome. The leaves are changing colors, but the grass hasn't caught on to it yet. <laughs> grass still thinks it's summer. So I'm okay with that. <laughs> But it was a pretty busy week. We finally got our oats green feed bales back to the farm. I've been keeping an eye on them. And yes, they are heating. I, I kind of predicted this. I was kind of preparing for it. It's not molded yet, but it is heating. So I am going to show you how to save bales in an emergency. If you got hay or green feed that's heating, I'm going to show you the poorer man's simple way to save those round hay bales. So it's an old trick that uh, the old timers used to use and I use it once in a while when we're in a pinch. Also, we're going to head out to the jungle. <laughs> somewhere over there <laughs> and we're gonna make some wild hay the hay is great right now it's better than it's been all year which is ridiculous because it's literally october but it's just the way this year is going it's all backwards but uh we got a few other things to do in between there so uh that's enough chit chat here let's better batter and get at her Woo! i'm pretty sure it's heating so this is the poor man's way to save hay or green feed that is heating up if you bailed it a little bit with a little bit too high of moisture content, which we had to in this case. I knew this was probably going to be the scenario. Um, didn't have time to get it wrapped, but we don't want to spoil. So I'm going to show you. I'll talk about the process. It's pretty simple, but uh, it works. It's an old, uh, <laughs> an old remedy for heated hay. Hoyt the bale jumper. Jump! 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 Oh, good one. Oh, I remember doing that when I was young. Oh. I'm sure we've all... If you grew up on a farm, you've probably done this at one time or another. Oh. What this will do is pull a sample from the middle of the bale towards the core. So we'll get a good idea of what's going on inside there. <laughs> if you don't have access to a drill or something, you can also just pry it, pry it open. Um, it's probably easier if you flip it butt end up. Well, please remember, if you like the old Beef Barons videos, remember to smash that thumbs up and hit that subscribe button, because if you don't, if you don't, this is going to happen. It's going to happen. The camera gets it if you don't. <laughs> Ooh. That's not good. That's as far as we're going to go. <laughs> Let this cool off. Let's see what we got here. <laughs> so not only can I smell it, when you pick it up, it's it's heating. You can see it's already caramelizing. Let me smell it. That's basically a heating bell. <laughs> so I'm going to show you how to um, salvage a bale like this. To be honest, this is almost past the point of salvaging. This will, we'll still salvage them. They won't go, get any worse if we salt them really heavy. I should have done this long ago. We just unfortunately got these bales back. And I didn't have time. They were way out in the field, out by the lake. <laughs> so I was like uh, quite a distance away from it. So from them. So otherwise, I would have done them out there. But we'll do them now. We'll salt all these bales. Basically, consists of us flipping these butt end up. Go with a sharpened bar. One spot, two spot, three spot, four, and then somewhere in the middle. We pry it open. We dump in loose salt. That's how it works. 
Now, just for comparison reasons, it's a good bill, made nice and dry. You can tell it goes in easier. Now let's go see what we got. So here you have a dry bill. You can see it. It's green. It's not caramelizing. Heating. That's nice. So that's good hay. Good. This is heated up feed. Bad. So whether it's it's grass hay alfalfa whatever it is if it's heating Dad. it'll caramelize um it's oh. a really funny uh smell to it but that's the difference so we stack them in a row so we can just walk on top of them we'll put a thermometer in one of these bad boys and check out the heat let's see what one of these bales are at so we're just gonna use this little thing we're gonna see if we can get a reading off it you can tell what i was just smoking smoking some beef but uh I don't know where my uh, my probe is. I haven't had to use it in three years because we haven't had rain. So we haven't been making wet hay. This is the first wet, these are the first wet damp or wet bales that we've made in a long time. But we're going to see if we can get a reading. Try to see if we can get a reading down there. So we'll put it down there in the pit. Down in the pit. Look at that. <laughs> well, as you can tell, this bale is hot. Very hot. Don't make hay saying, oh, it doesn't matter. I'll just salt it like that goofball at uh, PSR did. No, that's not the case. This is kind of a last, uh, you know, a last stand to save, uh, to attempt to save your hay. I think I caught it early enough that we can save it. It'll still be uh, edible, but it's not ideal. <laughs> so when you bale a round bale such as these, and let's say you got over 20% moisture in that bale, it starts to ferment. Uh, the fermentation process causes chemical reactions within the bale. If you get enough oxygen hitting these bales inside, the temperature increases. It just keeps on increasing. So the wetter the bale is, the longer time it takes to heat, but also hand in hand, the higher temperature it can reach because it takes that much more for it to, to dry out. So once these bales hit 170 Fahrenheit, it can combust. They will catch on fire. They, they can. And <clears throat> this is even more true when the weather's warm. Our weather's supposed to get real warm in the next couple days. We're supposed to hit 30 plus, 30 Celsius now. It's crazy in October, the beginning of October. So I got to make sure I salt these heavy, let them sweat out the heat. And even though I didn't salvage the bale completely, we stop it from molding. That's, that's what I want to do. I want to stop it from molding now. That's, that's my goal. But it, it, the salt is essentially going to cure it and stop the mold, allow it heat to sweat out. And uh, all bales will sweat out. You know, if, even if you have them between 15 to 20%, they'll sweat a little bit. So it's a little bit late. You can still salvage some of it though, I'm sure. So make a little opening there so the salt can make its way down there. So I worked myself a nice little hole. The bar's loose, so now we can dump some salt in. So we're just using a uh, salt tech. Loose salts, that's all. That's all you need. Just hammer, heavy. Yeah, and I can feel it just working into there. So, just a little bit. No, went exactly opposite of where I just was. Okay, Hoyt, 
and you'll grab me a cup of salt, okay? Okay. Just pass it here. That's good. Okay. Stay there. Here, take the cup. Hold, don't fall backwards. I want to pull the rest. Grab onto me. There, you just work it in. No. There we go. Oh, is our third. So we did boom, boom, boom. Okay, hold on. Put it in the hole. More? Okay. Oh, there's the core. Perfect. Gotta push it pretty deep in there. All right, so there we go. For every bale, I'm gonna let you guys go on this. I'm gonna finish up here. So basically you do one, two, three, four. You could do a fifth if you want, but that's what we're doing. I'm gonna put the camera down. It's much easier with two hands, so I'll catch you when we're done here. Little Cowboy Hoyt wants to show you guys how it's done. Okay, now push it. Here, I'll put the salt, and then you give it a stir. Okay, stir, stir, stir. Good job, bud. Can you keep the stick? Yep. Well, there you have it. All 20 of these bales are salted. Me and Cowboy Hoyt got it done. Oh, they're all spaced out. Now we just maunder. Hope for the best. But uh, speaking about heated hay, here's the uh, our Valmar. So this is a powder spreader it's in, on my other baler. That's our parts baler back there. And then uh, we have the uh, the other baler here. So uh, probably should have had this one. Basically, this is pretty simple. You flip this open. It's got a box for the powder. And uh, I got a monitor for it. And basically has all the tubes coming out there's a tube there it's a tube there and it just powders it's a fan kicks powder onto the bale as you're bailing it works out really nice so and in that all we use is silo guard we put the silo guard in there and how many bales i, I don't have to use it too i haven't had to use it much in the last many years as we haven't had really wet weather we typically don't have damp or wet hay here this is the first time i've had some damp hay in quite a while so what can you do sucks i hate that 20 bales possibly wasted hope not well i got uh, the baler tractor home yesterday i uh, got out this morning cut off some of the uh, the uh damp stuff the damp oats that was stuck to the rollers cut them off as best as i could oiled up the machine went over it and we are headed back to battle we are headed out to make some more hay it's like it could rain so i'm motoring out there to bale it up it's uh, apparently dry uh there's a couple slew bales then there's some field bales so we'll see what we get out of it well there's lots of nice uh wild hay in here but i'm telling you there this is this is pretty rough. Like there's rocks. I had to back up a few times already. It was making some nice bales. The grass is definitely on par. Um, this is the problem here. This is one problem. I'm gonna show you. Stuff like this has to be taken out. Can't eat this up. This will be a look at that. That's the problem. It's a slow process out here. You don't just hammer through it. You've got to clean it up. The wind rose. Like, look at this. That'll kill your belts and your baler. So, <clears throat> so it's just a maze. It goes around. There's some are better than others. We have cut this for many, about four or five years now. I'm surprised we can get in here right now with the rain we got goes to show how dry it was before.
nice looking bale sitting on a little uh, ridge I should have probably dropped it up over top here in case we get lots of rain but I gotta come pick these up pretty quick anyways this is a little rougher bale but they'll still pick through this there's still some good grasses in there on with the adventure we're gonna hammer off these few areas and we'll see what we get for a bale count at the end hopefully I get 20 bales that'd be nice well, we made our way from the slough areas to a little bit of field. So, nice a little bit of the field hay. Small windrows, but high quality stuff. Well, I hear a knock. I hear a knock. Perfect. Well, I guarantee you that's a bearing. bales left here so I gotta do my best to get it off sounds like it's that top bearing I don't know I'll have to check it out after it's so annoying I did that bearing I think this year so I don't know maybe it's not a bearing maybe it's just shifted in the casing I've had that happen on this baler but I don't know what's going on I'm only making 62 between you know 59 to 62 inch bales so they're not monsters I don't know. Well, we finished those bales. We ended up getting 14 big bales. A little bit less than I thought. I thought I'd get closer to 20, but that's okay. It's good quality feed for the most part, especially the higher stuff that was in the field. That knocking in the baler went away. So I don't know if there's a branch or something. I pulled the branch out of the other side, a big thick branch. So I'm gonna hope it's that, but uh, nothing was heating up. I don't know where that, that knock was coming from. It must've been something stuck somewhere that I didn't see but uh, it's not making the noise now it's making the bales fine it's quiet so I guess uh, crisis uh, diverted right so anyways we're gonna head our home home time <laughs> well much like summer I am done I am throwing in the towel <laughs> <laughs> I will catch you next weekend with an all new Prairie Sunset Ranch farm vlog. Be there or be square, my friends. Thanks for tuning in and have yourself a fantastic week. Bye for now.